just got back from doing about 2,000 kilometer trip down to Bremer Bay and back and it went all right until we got to Bremer Bay. Um, I cracked a piston or I've done something in the engine so it's running like a pig and blowing heaps of smoke. Um, I'm going to put it down to the bad tune it had in it when I first got it. Since then the tune's been fixed up but I guess the damage was probably already done. Um, I'll pull it apart properly when I get the engine out but I'm going to chuck another engine in and should be back on the road within the week, which should be good. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, there's a, probably a bit in the engine bay that I want to tidy up, but um, yeah, no, that's about it. Also, since you guys last seen it, you'll probably notice I've got a new bull bar. Um, that was because someone cut me off and I smacked into him with the old one. I still got chip grill down here and a little dent I need to pull out but such is life I guess um, I do like the look of that new bar and it is a winch bar so yeah we'll see if I ever put a winch in it but no it looks good I reckon um, there's a few things on the trip that I didn't really like or that needed a bit of improvement with the setup I've got in the back but it was quite a last minute trip and it was a 10 day trip or something like that so yeah, it was probably a bit much to ask of my basic setup, but yeah, I'll pull the engine out, That'll, that's what I'm going to start doing now, and then, yeah, chuck another one in, I'll probably film it all, upload it, but yeah, should be a good video. So I've been going for about an hour now, and as you see, I just popped the radiator out, um, I've disconnected a whole bunch of this electrical stuff to the PCM, um, fuel lines disconnected, vacuum lines disconnected, um, taking the aircon compressor off so it's just tied up there so it doesn't fall in. Um, underneath I've taken half the bell housing bolts out, I uh, just need to drop the gearbox a tiny little bit, just a couple inches just on the threads that are in there, um, just to get to the top ones a bit easier, that's just a little trick that I find works well for me. Um, yeah, so I take the rest of the bell housing bolts out and then I'll get it underneath the uh, shackle up here and um, yeah, pull it out. So I managed to find a chain block, I've undone all the engine mounts, taken the air compressor off, or the aircon compressor, sorry. Um, I've still got a couple lines here that I'll undo when I come up and an alternator plug, but yeah, I've just pried the gearbox apart, so is all ready to come out now. Getting there. So the engine's out. I've got the sump, the uh, timing cover off, um, the rocket cover off as well. The next would be to remove the head. I'm just purely doing this just to check the damage. I'm pretty sure it'll be absolutely knackered. So I'm going to go have a look at an engine tomorrow. But yeah, this is the furthest I've been into the barra. So it'd be good to have a look. So number six was the one that we thought had the issue. It does look that way, just from the gasket, it looks a bit more rooted than the others. Um, also in the head, the spark plugs all gummed up with oil and bits of shrapnel, I guess. So I pulled it out. As you can see, it's not looking that great there. Hard to see in this light, sorry. Missing a bit of oil ring and whatnot. And it's gone full destructo around this side. Can even see through it, see my hand down the bottom there. So I think that was the issue. So yeah, I think the bore's pretty, well, a little bit scored up, not as bad as I thought it would be, but like the pitting, there's a bit of pitting on the crank as well, like in the bearing, so I'll take all the pistons out and rods, um, probably do that tomorrow, and have a good look at the crank. Um, I'll still probably just buy a whole other engine just because they're so cheap, and chuck it straight in, but I'll have a lot of spares from this one, which will be good. But yeah, that's it. So I went to the wreckers this morning, picked up another FG non-turbo barrel. Um, they're actually getting quite hard to find now because they're all going to the States. So yeah, it was good to find this one. Got a fairly good price on it for the market at the moment. So I was happy. Came with another power steering pump, alternator. Um, didn't get the aircon compressor because I don't need it, but got another starter motor as well. So They'll all be good parts to chuck in the spares container I'll take when I go travelling. Um, 
there is a bit of work I'd like to do before I drop that straight in. And then we'll show you up here. So I've got the engine out, but yeah, the work I want to do, um, there's a brake line down here that I've had to disconnect, just that one there. So I just, it's like all flexy now and bounces around. So I want to make a little bracket so that doesn't uh, fatigue over time and snap out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and also there's a clutch line there, that straight one. I want to do the same to that, put a curl in it so it can flex and won't crack over time. Um, also the clutch fork in there, not sure if you can see that too well, just down there. Uh, there's a little ball just in down there, little ball that that fork sits on. So I want to space that out 5 millimeters. I think that's what most people are doing. Um, so yeah, I'll get under that and then it should be ready to drop that new engine straight back in I guess. Righto, so that's the little spacer I just machined up. Pretty rough and ready, but should do the job. I'm gonna smack it back in now and move on to the next thing. Here's the old block. We've got a um, few bits in it, like the oil pressure sensor. I think there's also a temp sensor up there in the thermostat. Um, and here's my new engine. So I'm gonna just swap all that over tonight. Get it ready to drop in tomorrow. I'm gonna get a few other bits, but yeah, get most of that done. Do all that tonight, and yeah, should be in in the next day and a half or something. Another thing I should have mentioned is this is a thrust bearing. Um, I've done about 15,000 Ks with this thrust bearing, but it's always touched. I've seen, I've read a bit in the MPC thrust bearings that usually do it, and they ma it makes a horrible screeching sound because this is hardened. But um, also when you spin it, you probably won't be able to hear it on my phone. But it's quite knackered, and you can feel a bit of play in there. So I'll be putting a new thrust bearing on. I'm not, I probably won't go with this MPC one again because it'll be hard to get and I don't like it. So I'll see what else there, there is I can chuck on, but yeah, that's the go for now. So I didn't film too much more, but um, yep, this is a new engine. She's in, it runs, um, it's going good. I just need to put some oil and some more coolant in it. Um, so I'm going to run off to the shop and do that now. And then, yeah, I need to get another engine mount down the track, but sort that out later. But yeah, good to go. So uh, I've put it all back in now, it's all running, just smack the bonnet on, then she's good to go, all done. Ready to blow it up again or something like that, who knows.